All right, now let's go over a warm-up routine with the smaller multi-stick bar. All right, this is good to have in the bag. It's smaller, it's portable. You can do some of the same movements, and we have about a five-minute warm-up routine that'll get you good to go, heated, ready to hit some balls, okay? So first thing I'll do is I'll go single arm, and we're just going to do some hip hinges here. So we'll get this going this way, and we'll bend into our hip hinge. Again, just two reps here. And let's just work some engagement in the core and work our hip hinging pattern. Okay, one more rep. All right, stability in the core. You want to maintain that belt line in that position. Avoid that big arch there. Avoid the slouch. So I want engagement in that core. All right, and then back up. All right, from here, we're gonna do this engagement backswing. So we're gonna get this pulsing here, feel some energy from the ground, and then I wanna maintain this oscillation through this backswing. I'm gonna make two backswings, two follow throughs. Now we'll go to the lead side, so I'll flip the hand over. And when I'm rehearsing this follow through, I really want to think left-handed backswing because I don't want to slide through. I want to be intentional about staying on the inside, pushing this trail hip back. Maintain that in that stick. Whew, so now I got hip hinge and I've got rotation. All right, I want to warm up the shoulders a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to work some rotations with this shoulder. Five to ten in front of us. Five to ten laterally do both sides all right and this is one of these things when you grab this out of your bag probably start with this just do it naturally warm up the shoulder girdle some rotation all right and now we'll start to work some ground force okay so again we kind of had this similar pattern where we go pulse first and then pump started this p5 p6 just working to put the brakes on all right, and before round, I'll do like 20 of these consecutively, just really warming up that lead side, rehearsing, dropping that club in. All right, then I'll go to impact. Let's say we do 10, 10, 10. It's probably a good range to start. All right, each rep a little bit more forceful. So we went P5, P6, impact, and then release pump. All right, on this release pump, don't twist open, just keep that shoulder closed. Push your hip back, shoulder stays closed. All right, now we'll go, we did the pulse, now we'll do the pump. So just a longer exaggerated movement. Now you can rebound and go right back into it, okay, or you can go to a hard stop. All right, we'll go to impact. And we'll go release. At that point, we're breathing a little bit, ready to take the golf club, ready to make some swings, short and sweet, but really effective warm up.